Yeah, I was wondering, does the White House intend to sell or say brand the legislation in a different way moving forward? Nira, you mentioned that the provisions are often very, very popular, but we did see the president himself acknowledge last week that it has uh, less to do with reducing inflation than with providing alternative forms of economic growth. And so I'm wondering on the messaging and branding side, uh, are you all intending to, to pitch this in a different way to the public? Well, I would say that the the law itself is is delivering benefits. In just a few weeks, we will have uh, HHS announce the first 10 drugs that will be negotiated. I think um, we need to see, uh, we will see results in the coming months and years. As put out, pointed out in the legislation itself, there is a framework for lowering drug, drug costs, um, some this year, some next year, and for years to come. So we have always known that the benefits will be, de be delivered over time, but benefits, people are experiencing these benefits now. So my focus is ensuring that people understand that they will have uh, lower drug costs because of the Inflation Reduction Act, that those drug costs will be a real difference in their bottom lines. Drug costs are a high proportion of health care costs. And as I said, in the United States, um, Americans are paying more for drug costs than everywhere else. We see a real salience to this. So my focus is in really ensuring that we are implementing this and delivering those results to people. The uh, initial legislation that was proposed by the president was obviously a lot more expansive than what became the final product. It included, you know, universal pre-K, paid family leave. I'm curious where those proposals stand with the administration. Are we going to hear the president talk about achieving those in his re-election pitch or those conversations happening at the congressional level? Well, importantly, many of those provisions are in the president's budget. I'll just take, for example, the CARE agenda with our investments in child care, paid leave, other provisions. The president, you know, believes that those investments are critical to our economic security and to meet the needs of families. And that's why he's made those a priority by putting them in the budget. The president believes in these provisions and believes in uh, ensuring that families can balance their work, their responsibilities at work and home. That's why it's a cornerstone. Just a few months ago, we announced a carrier where he said there again, this is part of his budget, and it's something that uh, we are championing consistently. But does the president think that that message resonates differently now since it was unsuccessful in kind of getting it across the finish line a year ago? When the Inflation Reduction Act passed, the president said, uh, many times, actually, before, during, and after, that uh, that his commitment, you know, he believed that these these solutions and what was called Build Back Better were important ones, and that he's committed to them and he's fighting for them. And uh, he, that commitment is as strong today as ever. Uh, that is why we are proud of the fact that we got a 30 percent increase in childcare in the last year appropriation. But we are continue to fight for those provisions, and um, that is another reason why he took as expansive action as he could through the CARE EO. Um, it didn't take a year. In fact, there were almost immediately both legal challenges, legislative challenges to this law. We know that a new administration, whether two years, six years, ten years, can come along and undermine significant components of this. Can you talk about, as you're implementing this law, how you're trying to guard against future efforts to undo some of the uh, achievements the President feels he's been able to set into motion? Well, first and foremost, we are focused on delivering results for people. That is why uh, uh, we're proud of the fact that the $35 insulin camp has already been implemented. The free vaccines has been implemented during this administration. We will negotiate the 10 drugs that will be public next fall, that will be that will be going into implementation next fall. So uh, that uh, ensuring that we're delivering for people is the number one focus. But I will say that I had the great honor to work on the Affordable Care Act. And I was very worried about the Affordable Care Act when the previous administration took power, took, uh, took the presidency. Um, but we rallied the country, and the country really came to the defense of the Affordable Care Act because people experienced, they had health care because of it. 20 million people had health care because of it. So our goal is to ensure that legislation is delivering for people, and that is the best way to ensure that legislation stands the test of time. Could I add one word to that? Yeah. yeah. So I, I mentioned that I thought that, that particularly on the clean energy side, this is government enabled, but it's private sector led. We're seeing investment across the country. Uh, you've reported a lot on the fact that it's in red districts, but it's all across the country. The battery belt stretching from uh, Georgia to Michigan, uh, investments in upstate New York, in Nevada, California, 
uh, Ohio, Pennsylvania. The president was in Wisconsin yesterday. We were in New Mexico last week. Uh, this is happening. These jobs are being rooted. These investments are taking place. People are going to work, uh, and uh, those jobs are good jobs, supported by the structure of the Inflation Reduction Act, re with a bonus for paying prevailing wage, uh, using certified apprentices. We've seen a, a big increase in the number of pre-apprentice and apprenticeship programs happening all across the country as a result of both the IRA, the Bipartisan Infrastructure Law, and the uh, uh, Chips and Science Act. Once those investments happen, once those jobs are created, once those people are at work uh, in red s districts, purple districts, blue districts, it would be very hard to walk away from that. And so I, I, I am quite confident that as the public really, again, as Nira said, begins to feel the presence of this law in their lives, uh, particularly on that workforce side, uh, it's here to stay.